Hey you guys, what's up? So this week, I I mean I would love to be in my classroom, but we've had kind of like a new teacher orientation, so I have been at that all day. And so this video is definitely gonna be a part of the classroom setup, but I got some Amazon packages. And I didn't order anything off Amazon, but I do have an Amazon list and I wanted to unbox these two on camera. I have no idea what they are, so I thought that I would do that in this video, just starting it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open them. Um I don't I don't know if it's gonna say like who sent them to me or what, but this is so nice. Oh my gosh, y'all! Okay, wait. There's some receipts in here, so let's see. Send a thank you note. You can learn more about your gift and start a return here too. It doesn't say, it doesn't say who it's from. Aw, look you guys. Creation cubes, how cool is this? I am so excited about this. These are amazing for man manipulatives and I'm so excited to have my own. Oh my gosh, so it's a 100 piece set. I did see one other thing in here. I don't know if it says a gift for you. I hope you enjoy your gift. Good luck on your first year of teaching. Wish you the best. From Shaping Little Hearts. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm glad it had that. Thank you so much. This is literally the nicest thing. Thank you. I wanna open it really quick because I just, I wanna see what it shows. Oh my gosh. This is so sweet. I finally got it after like 10 years of trying. This is just what they look like. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen them. <gasps> this is so nice, oh my gosh. So here they are. They just have these different colors, all different colors. It's so nice for so many different things, seriously. So this means the world to me, seriously. So thank you again, so sweet. And then there's one other thing, and oh my gosh, I'm just feeling so grateful right now like that. This is so nice. And then also, oh my gosh, more Unix cubes. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, this is so, so sweet. Yes, it's from Shaving Little Hearts again. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, two of them? You did not have to do that. I am so appreciative. Thank you so, so much for this. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Hey you guys, what's up? So I actually got out of my PD early today, which I'm so glad. I was so stressed in there because like, just everything piles up. Like as a teacher, you have like, luckily this year we're not switching to a different thing, but like, the sixth grade teachers at my school and most middle schools in my area are completely changing programs for math. So they're learning this whole new system. And so it just seems like a lot, but even me, I feel like it's so much stuff like to lesson plan and just plan your day. It just seems like so much. So I was looking at all the things and all the resources and I just really want to meet with my team and really talk to them and then I can really start planning. So. That's kind of where I'm at right now. So we got out early and I'm gonna go start setting up my room a little bit more just because I'm gonna take advantage of all the time I can. But first, I wanna diet Dr. Pepper. It's like my favorite drink ever. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm just gonna grab my drink and then we're gonna go to the school and we're gonna set up. I actually, I'm so glad I brought all of my stuff with me because I just had a feeling we were gonna get out early. So yeah. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this table over there and that seating area will go over there where my mirror is. Hello, you can see me. Um, I like the way this is turning out, but I feel like there's just something missing. I also spelled birthday wrong. Let me show you. I totally posted my video and people were like, uh, birthday spelled wrong. And I was like, oh, birthday. <laughs> um, I just have some puns. I really liked this area, and yeah, I think I'm gonna do my little seating area there. Here's this bulletin board, and I'm just gonna have my students write their growth goals, and I'm gonna post them all around. And then that's my desk area, and then the front board area, 
That's my student center. It's still a work in progress. And then these are from Dollar Tree. Super, super cute. And then this is, again, my desk area. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, this is so sweet. This is like a little goodie pack of things. Oh my gosh. I don't know who this is from, but wow, this is so nice. Oh my goodness. I'll show you guys everything in there in just a second. And then I just have this little piece. I tried putting two, but it just does not fit. Um, and then we have my little rolly cart that I got at Michael's. That's my little area. Of course, I had to represent A&M. <laughs> my windows. I don't think I'm gonna do curtains starting out, so I'm just gonna line up the border. Then I put this piece here. I don't know, I think I really like it. I just need to figure that out. And then this stuff is what I was saying I'm gonna move over there. And then a bunch of this stuff is just random things. This was another teacher's. I don't know if she still wants it, so I'm just kind of keeping it there. And then over here, we just have some random bins and stuff. I tried not to go too crazy with Dollar Tree bins because that was one of the tips on like every teacher's YouTube is don't buy a lot of bins. So I just have a couple of these and then I bought three of these just because they were too cute to pass up from Dollar Tree. And then we just have some other things. I also think that I might rearrange the desks because it just seems like there's not going to be enough room for students to get in and out of their desks. So I might rearrange them into groups of four. So we'll see about that. But yeah, here's everything. I'm just going to go ahead and move the desk really quick over here and this stuff over there just so I have everything situated because I'm the kind of person, let me turn this around, because I'm the kind of person that just needs stuff lined up like I need everything to be situated and then I can start putting things away so that's what I'm going to do right now I also want to show you guys what I got in that little bag that's so sweet and then I picked up a bunch of stuff too that I wanted to share with you guys because we do get a little fund which is so nice that I want to share with you guys as well and then I have a couple like decor pieces because I just can't help myself so yeah So here's what I came up with for the little student center area. Um, it wasn't, I wasn't actually expecting this, so this is really nice. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of try to plan my room around this as well. But this is so nice. This is a whiteboard desk, so they can actually write on this while I'm teaching. Oh, that's so nice. And then for now, I moved the chairs over there, but I think I'm gonna move them maybe over here or something. I'm not sure yet. So we're gonna leave that, but then I feel like the desks need to change. So we're just gonna leave that there. I wanna show you guys some of the things that I picked up this past week. And also, let me show you guys what they got me. This is so sweet. So we have paper clips which I actually don't have yet. And then some sticky notes. These are always a must. Heck yeah, we always love some food. And then you can see there's some things kind of thrown in here. Ooh, I get some scissors. Look, now I have two pairs of scissors. Um, some pencils, which obviously we can always use. Some whiteboard cleaner. So now I have two. What is this? Oh, tape transparent tape yes two pairs two bits of that and then we have i think some glue and then just some pins some expo markers and then some staples wow this is so freaking nice y'all i also want to share with you guys what i picked up so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm already sweating i'm about to take this jacket off so here's a quick little overview of everything i got some expo markers these were only a dollar at office depot so it was a two pack thought that would be nice. I got a 72 pack of pencils. I got a bunch of highlighters, post-it notes, oh gosh, a 30 pack of glue, um, this, the, this expo marker board cleaner, a stapler, whiteboard eraser, and then just some other things. Again, these little jumbo bulletin letters are only a dollar, a dollar general and family dollar. So if you're looking for letters, 
these are a good option then i just got some of these pencil sharpeners i thought that these would be perfect when i don't want that pencil sharpener going off the electric one so they can just use one of these and then three pairs of headphones these were only a dollar they're probably not very good but it's fine <laughs> and then just some other pins also show you right now i got a um, little rug a welcome rug and it was only six dollars at dollar general and then you guys saw me open these such a sweet gift and then I also got a hole punch. And then, what else? Oh, more of these Expo markers. This one came with, can I count, six? And it was actually the same price as the one with five. So then I also got these little seat pads for those. And they were only $5 each. So that's what I got. And then I also got this little tablecloth that's going to go over that. So that's everything right now. Um, I want to put the tablecloth on and just the chair pads. I like to decorate. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I kind of want to just start organizing all the supplies into those bins that I have. So that's what we're going to do right now. So here's what it looks like it's super simple it was only like what like three or four dollars at walmart so it was a pretty good deal sorry i was trying to fix that but it's like a different material so it's not like a clothy material but i just wanted something cheap but something that would look a little more you know presentable than just the table so now i'm just gonna put everything back on it <sighs> yeah i don't know what i'm doing with this stuff yet <laughs> So I have those little bins from Dollar Tree and I'm just planning on putting different things in there. So like this one, I'll just put the wooden pencils. The other one, I'm probably going to just put paper for when they need it. And then the other one, I'm not sure yet. So we're just going to hold off. But yeah, so I'm just going to put like my pencils in there for the students to be able to get it. And so that's what I'm doing. Here's what that looks like. I don't really like all of that, so I don't know. So supplies wise, I'm probably going to put them in like one of these bins or something. Just something easy where students can still get to them. I'm not even going to worry about opening these right now. They're just going to go in here and we'll worry about them when the time goes. I just noticed there's a lot of yellow ones, but that's probably going to be one of them, just like supplies stackable containers from the Dollar Tree and they were a little wobbly so I just hot glued them on top of each other and you know it's gonna work so I'm actually gonna put these on here and that's where I'm gonna put my dry erase markers just because also when we start when I get uh, our um, whiteboards and stuff the students will know where to go and then in one I can put little the erasers in one and it'll just work perfectly so I'm just gonna hot glue that last one on top like this and it's just gonna be way more stable So I totally glued it on wrong so in that video I was gluing it on up here and it needed to be glued on down here but anyways I glued it on and it's just a lot more stable and as you can see I put my expo markers in here and I mean it doesn't really matter where I put them right now but this is just kind of my designated space and then I'll just put them on the end like this and then also I put 
just this little stapler on here too just when i'm sitting there and you know what let me turn this around now that i have this little cart which i picked these up from hobby lobby these little bins which i hauled in a video i can just pull it you know like when i'm working over here i can just pull it over or whatever so that's really really nice i put all of my highlighters in here and then in my desk which i don't know how long it'll stay organized but these are organizers from dollar tree and i just added the paper clips in here these are those tape dispensers and then this is just where all my sticky notes are gonna go i have quite a bit um just for from gifts and then what they gave me and then i have more over there so i got everything out of there we're gonna take these and just set them here because i already know i'm gonna be wanting some snack one day and that's gonna be perfect i also just have these staples which i guess i'll set in here too so that's everything these are in the trash i tested them out and they don't work these are just gonna probably gonna line up the rest of the window so yeah Ugh. let's see what else we can do um there's that area again and then we have more staples okay we have all of these this i guess i'm just gonna put like right here look there was me trying out the markers i don't know why i go to hi and hello so i got this big pack that we'll just throw in here too see like i'm kind of organized but when it comes to just kind of putting things in places too i'm like all right that's a designated drawer not really going to organize it now the rest of this trash a bag you know what i might keep this bag because i was going to do like a ticket system where so the tickets i think where are the tickets at Oh wait, no, the tickets are over here. I'm gonna do a ticket system. And so, like just for rewards and stuff, and we'll pull tickets at the end of the week. And um, some period, or like every now and then, so it's like a little surprise, they'll pull slips and some of the slips will be like, free homework pass. And then some of them are like special surprise. And so when they get that, they get to choose like, a, their favorite snack or something and I'll go get it for them so I'm just gonna save this bag actually that saves me I mean I would have gone to like the Dollar Tree but that saves me some time and money so we'll just put this actually I should probably keep it in my area but we'll keep it there for now and someone was giving it away and I was actually talking about how I wanted something back here and I was like you know what I'm gonna pick it up <laughs> so I did and it fits perfectly these are gonna be my file folders so like return or file all that I want to print out the um the little printables that you can print here this is just a bin that I put on top I think I want to just get something to put on top I have this ginormous lamp that was actually free and then I have this little container that I just have my stamps and my stickers and then this whiteboard cleaner they gave us and then that white bag so that's what I have there this is my desk area so far not really digging it so much but you know what we're just gonna leave it like that because that's literally not a big deal and then I have a couple of these I thought I had more but I'm not sure and then I ended up putting those container bins up and I put some rulers in here. I want to get like actual rulers though. And then you guys saw that. And then this one's just open for whatever. So that's what I have so far. Y'all saw that area being put together. I also just put my tissues there. I bought this border from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And I might use this for my door. So I might use that just to line the window area. So we shall see oh and i need to fix that piece right there i honestly have to leave so i'm just gonna leave it like this Obviously, this is not how I'm keeping it. I'm going to look at different ways to set up my desk online and try again next time because, I don't know, I didn't really like the groups of four. It didn't really look 
I don't know, I would have to find a good system on how to set it up. So I'm just gonna leave it. I started trying the groups of three and then I was like, okay, I gotta go. So this is everything so far. Don't know about that area either. So we're just gonna wait. <laughs> 